According to a report from CBS Atlanta, a private investigator insists that Herman Cain is innocent of the sexual harassment claims that have been leveled against him. Following is a word-for-word transcript of the story. The story and the video report can be seen at the web address listed under this video. Private investigator T.J. Ward says presidential hopeful Herman Cain was not lying at a news conference on Tuesday in Phoenix. Cain denied making any sexual actions towards Sharon Bialik and vowed to take a polygraph test if necessary to prove his innocence. Cain has not taken a polygraph, but Ward said he does have software that does something better. Ward said the $15,000 software can detect lies in people's voices. CBS Atlanta's Mike Paluski played Kane's speech for Ward into the software and watched as it analyzed Kane's every word. If he is hiding something, this thing would have spiked way down here, said Ward. He is being truthful, totally truthful. He is a man with integrity, and he talked directly about not knowing any incident he is accused of. The software analyzes the stress level and other factors in your voice. During the speech, when Kane denied the claims, the lie detector read low risk. According to Ward, that means Kane is telling the truth. During the section of Bialik's news conference where she says, quote, he suddenly reached over, put his hand on my leg under my skirt, and reached for my genitals, he also grabbed my head, brought it towards his crotch, end quote. During the analysis of that section, the software said high risk statement. Ward said that means she is not telling the truth about what happened. I don't think she is fabricating her meetings, said Ward, but she is fabricating what transpired. Ward said nearly 70 law enforcement agencies nationwide use the voice software, including the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office. Ward said the technology is a scientific measure that law enforcement use as a tool to tell when someone is lying and that it has a 95% success rate. After listening to Kane's speech and analyzing it, Ward said there is no doubt Kane is innocent. When he directly talks about the allegations against him, there is no high risk, said Ward. It is low risk, which tells me Kane is being truthful in his conversations to the public.